This is a platform built within Squarespace that allows us to rapidly build Squarespace websites. Now, that doesn't mean to say that the quality is going to be any lower than if we're starting from scratch. The entire aim of this tool is to massively reduce the amount of time that we spend on repetitive tasks so we can spend more time with the client working through different creative challenges and building beautiful websites using Squarespace. The Forge works within Squarespace, so there's no additional software to install. But we will replicate our master template, then we will give you full admin access. From that point, you can duplicate that template multiple times for an infinite number of websites that you're working on. We use it as a starting point when we're working through our website. This is a tool based on processes that we've instilled over a number of years. We love the Squarespace templates that you get to choose when creating a new website. We also love the new section designs that have been introduced in Squarespace 7.1. However, they are a little limiting. So we found ourselves building the same structures over and over again, then adapting them and customizing them to make the websites look bespoke. To help all of this process be more efficient, our team have been actively working on SquareForge since early 2024, but in truth, most of the concepts, the layouts, the designs are tried and tested toolkits that I have been working with in the web design industry since the late 1990s. The technology's changed for sure. The platforms that we've worked on have also changed. We've had the introduction of responsive web design and rich media in our web layouts, the principles of design, the use of white space, equal spacing using a grid system have all stayed true. I'm now going to give you a preview of how to set up and work with the Forge. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. And the Forge is available now on the Pixel Haze Academy store. Let's crack on. Here's your step-by-step -step guide for how to use the Square Forge. I'm in my Squarespace dashboard, and this will vary depending on how many websites you have with Squarespace. Once you've made your purchase, we will add you as full access to the Square Forge within two working days. From this point, we should be able to find it in our admin area and find the three dots. This will bring up a series of settings, and from here, we duplicate website. This is really important because we don't want to be editing our master template for Square Forge because we want to be able to duplicate it in future for new websites. As part of your purchase, you have full lifetime access to this version of the template. And for early bird customers, you'll get a free upgrade to Squarespace Forge 2.0 when that launches in summer 2024. We're now going to duplicate the website. And it can take a few minutes, although we have made sure that we don't have any high resolution photos in this version of the Forge, meaning that the duplication option should be quick. Expect in total for it to take between one to two minutes to complete. So it's a good time to grab yourself a cuppa while it's going through this process. Once it's created, we should find a copy of the site. However, one thing I've noticed with Squarespace is it doesn't bring them up to the top of your website listing automatically. So we need to run a quick search and we can find our copied version of our website here and ready to go. So we click on that. And we're now ready to add our site title. I'd recommend entering that so we've got our website ready to go. And I'm just going to put an example for a new template that I will be building. And we can go through the startup tutorials available to you. Click Get Started, and we now have our website. In your version, all of the template pages will be off the menu, so you don't need to worry about moving them. However, Squarespace does have some quirks every now and again that it will move pages around without you wanting to do so. This is especially the case if you have multiple people editing your website at similar times, it can throw up some issues. If you're intrigued about finding out more about SquareForge and you'd like to learn with myself and my team how you can create professional looking websites on website builders like Squarespace, then you may want to consider joining our school community. That school with the K and the best news is SquareForge is going to be included within that subscription. You have SquareForge plus every single update available, our full six week transformation program to become a professional Squarespace web designer and all of the tips and resources resources in our Pixel Haze Academy library. Going further than that, myself and my team will be available with some tips or guides. Our aim is to overload you with quality and value, and there's info in our description to join the waitlist. Let's get back to the video. So what I tend to do is collapse all of these folders and then simply move them into the not links section. So that just might take a minute just to update our site structure accordingly. Maybe surprisingly, but one of the first steps that we need to carry out is to choose our footer section, mainly because for all of these sample sections, the footer has been hidden, a new feature in Squarespace 7.1 as of 2024, meaning that we don't have this at the bottom of every one of our pages. So I'm going to choose the footer that I want to edit by going into edit settings on the page. And I think I'm going to choose this option. All I need to do 
is go through and remove all of the sections that I don't need. This is why I try to strike the balance between not having too many footed designs so it's not going to take you too long to go through this process. These dividers can also be removed as well. Okay, we now have our footer ready to go. At this point, we can actually delete that page. And also, I'm going to set our home page. I'm going to rename the URL slug. We are going to create a new home page so we can delete our home page here. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and add a new blank page. Call it home. Go into the settings. Set this as the home page because we cannot delete a page whilst it's being set as home. Now with our new home page, we can see the home icon next to it. So that means we can delete the other home page. For these sections here, we want to keep them off the menu structure. So we have our full menu option at the top here. We can now proceed and change our logo and other effects that we want in our hero unit. Again, in your version of the template, it will not have this overlapping effect that we've used using some custom code on our version of the site. So the logo should be nestled in the header region. To start building up the page layout, we can choose different sections. I generally start with the hero. And if we look at some of the classic options, heroes are our billboard, that initial impact when we first land on a website. So we're going to choose this one here. We're going to change the wording. Of course, we're going to choose that as our hero unit. So by clicking on the favorite option, saves it in favorites, meaning that we can reuse it. And I might even use a secondary hero further down the page. So I'm going to select this section here as well and add that to favorites. I can now proceed to move to other sections like signposting. And let's have a look at some of the three column signposts that we've got available. Because this template will be visual led, I'm going to choose this template option. This is something that will happen when we duplicate sites in Squarespace. I'm not sure why it happens, but it's a little bug. So sometimes you won't see the images coming through. There's not a huge amount we can do about that. I've tried to reduce the number of images we use to make that less of an issue, but in preview mode, it still works. But when we go into edit, the image disappears. As we are going to be putting our own photos in place, it doesn't really matter so much. I'm going to select a content section. And let's have a look at a short content section to introduce the site. And I think we'll go for this simple standard central aligned paragraph. And let's choose a longer content section as well. And we're going to choose this template. Now we have our footer set. We have deleted the homepage and set up a new homepage for our site. We're now ready for the final step of this tutorial, which is to add our newly saved sections. Keep in mind that we can access and use all of the standard Squarespace templates at any time. We've deliberately designed our template structures to be different to the standard Squarespace one. So you have that choice. But if we now go into saved sections, we can see the areas that we have saved as favorites. And now we can start to build the structure of our page step by step. We can save it just to see how everything's clicking into place. This is where we can start to add our content and look at areas like spacing here. So if it looks like there's a little bit more spacing towards the bottom than what we want, we can then use the sections here to adjust. For example, we can remove the fill screen option on this to bring the images up compact to make this section more balanced. Once we've done that, we can add a bit more breathing space at the bottom. And now we can start adding our images. So if I click edit, you can see I'm constantly saving. And we're going to find some stock images. And I'm not going to spend too long selecting these images to get us up and running. I'm deliberately going to choose to get more of the road so we can see our text over top of the background. Again, just save that, see how it's looking. We can see a nice contrast here. So we don't need a hero with a block behind the text. And we are just going to quickly 
wrap up by updating these three images. Whilst it's adding the image, we can see it's set to fill here. So what it will do is zoom crop the image to fit the frame. If you were to change to fit, you can see that it keeps the original aspect ratio. Alternatively, we can, of course, change the shapes. So even though the templates start out looking one way, we've got full customization to update the structures accordingly. Now it's a rinse and repeat process on the other sections. Before we wrap up, we can see that these text blocks here are again a little lost with the background image. So at this point, we can either choose to add in a shape, and that's what I'll do in this example, or alternatively, we can put a background behind our text. So we can align it to the center and choose a background. And I'll just show you both options. We can even change the opacity of that shape and just move it back behind the title. So two very quick, easy solutions to make this section look rather different. Of course, we can centrally align that text so it fits nicely within that section. Once we've got the outline structure of our first page in place, this is where I would normally jump across to the site styles and I would upload our logo. And then from that, we will have our color palette to be able to change the colors. And the beauty of this is it will change it throughout the entire website for you. And the same for our font selection as well. I will certainly be creating more tutorials that will go into more detail on all of these areas and how we can use the Forge to rapid prototype our website building process. And if you're a professional designer, you can of course run through this entire process with your client in the room. In fact, that's what we do at Pixel Haze Studio. And we find that we can come up with large layouts within as little as an hour. Or if we want to work on a bespoke, higher budget website, we've got more options for customization. We need to make sure that the website's still working on mobile. And because we added the new shape here for custom solutions, we will need to go in and update that signpost. So it's a case of just moving it and adjusting our blocks accordingly. And there's be a little bit of space to tidy up as well. But hopefully that's given you an idea of how you can use the Forge to rapid prototype your website building process. At Pixel Haze Studio, we use this every day on every single Squarespace website that we build. So I can confidently say that if it works for us, then there's a very good chance it will work wonders for you as well. Let me know how you're getting on with Squarespace Forge. Happy building, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers. If you want to say in the future direction of the content that I'll be creating at Pixel Haze Academy and to get involved in our community, all you need to do is leave me your email address. We're looking to create our first community in the coming weeks, and I'm going to be throwing everything I've got at it. That includes our Moonshot Transformation Program, our entire library of online courses, the opportunity to engage with me in regular group sessions. There's more information in the description, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on how we can develop this. Thanks again, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.